attended in the past. It's always been very informative, very educational. We are delighted to be here sponsoring this uh, summit. TCPA, I think, is at the forefront of all compliance officers at this point in time. The TCPA is a very well-intentioned statute that has gone wildly out of control. TCPA is really one of those things that a lot of people outside the industry don't really particularly understand. What is the prospect of this law being revised to be more common sense? And from my perspective, you should be worrying about TCPA the most. The, the solutions that we offer is kind of a one-stop shop where you can get a lot of your not just do not call solutions, but TCPA. Everybody's getting sued over TCPA. It's an area, it's a hot, hot area litigation. Plaintiff's lawyers are getting super rich off of this. <laughs> that I'm here and that the FTC was willing to pay for me to come out here and speak uh, speaks to how important um, do not call and robocall compliance and enforcement is to the FTC. So we're looking, is it telemarketing? If it is, do we have permission? If it is, if we don't have permission, do we have an existing uh, business relationship? And if we don't have those things, then we're going to be required to scrub against the do not call list. Everybody hates these calls. Everybody. We are popular in some sense within the FTC because we go after this thing that is so hated. On the other hand, because obviously so many of these calls are still happening, we also hear about it. People aren't, aren't happy about it. And the violation is not speaking to a consumer who's on the do not call list, the violation is placing that call. You know, my division has about 45 people and at any given time. We have lots of different attorneys and investigators working on do not call investigations and litigation. I will tell you, Contact Center Compliance I know has a service that will allow you to cleanse your internal do not call list. If this is something you are concerned about and you're not comfortable taking your records off five years, I highly recommend you use one of these cleansing services, otherwise your internal do not call list can get out of control. Great integration um, with contact center compliance with the do not call stuff and with their new litigator product which is amazing our clients oh, yeah. really love it. Yeah. Well the litigator file without question is probably to me the best investment that any company can make. It will be the best money you've ever spent. tell you your script has got to be perfect. There is just no excuse for your script not being perfect. You need to have a review of your script so that all of the disclosures are in there because the first thing that somebody like Will or a state AG is going to ask for is a copy of your script and if you have an error in your script every call you have placed is going to be wrong. They've been a friend to us and uh, glad to have them on our side. It doesn't matter what your intent is. If you place a call, send a text message, send a, a fax advertisement that does not exactly comply, you're liable. At the end of the day it's all about being in compliance and that's why we're here.